two big announcements. First is, we're going to have our first esoteric teaching Dharma Sar Essence of Dharma retreat in Spain, Alicante, Spain, on the south coast, in the first week of April. Actually, the retreat is going to go on from April through May. But uh, the group sessions will kick it off the first week of April. And then, depending on the interest and participation, we'll continue from there through May. That means any of you can come and visit us. There's no charge for the seminars or the individual guidance. You will have to arrange your own accommodation and meals. And uh, we're not sure exactly just yet how that's all going to work. <laughs> it's still early days, but I wanted to announce this to show that we're actively planning and arranging and organizing to present in person in Europe in the spring. So that's very exciting. And the other announcement I have to make is that I'm going to be accepting your input on the topics for the seminar and how it's going to be set up through a YouTube live stream on Wednesday. Wednesday, that's the 10th of November. And that's going to be at 1 o'clock p.m. India time, which is 8.30 a.m. in uh, Central Europe, 7.30 a.m. in Western Europe, actually just uh, England and Portugal, and uh, 9.30 a.m. in Eastern Europe. So if you're interested in attending this seminar or just curious about it, please show up here on this channel at uh, the, the designated time on Wednesday. And then, of course, I'll post on the channel page, community page, um, all the details, and participate. So, of course, the more you participate, the more your voice will be heard and included in the planning for the event. Now, if you're not planning to attend the event, of course, you can still uh, watch the live stream. But really, to participate is only for those who are planning to attend, because they're the ones we need to hear from. So if you're going to just watch, that's fine, but don't take up the limited bandwidth with a lot of chit chat. Uh, just um, watch <laughs> and uh, see what happens, because it's going to get interesting real fast. My plans or my ideas for the seminar is to have a class, a group session in the morning. And the topics for that, well, the only topic that I'm attached to is the esoteric teaching, the system of four yogas, four states of consciousness, four views, and so on. Here's the good old chart. <laughs> You've seen it a million times, but do you really understand it? You will after you attend this seminar. Because what's going on in the yoga scene and the spiritual scene in general 
is that people are not seeing the forest for the trees. That's a good old reliable metaphor. It means people are getting caught up in one kind of yoga or one religious faith. And they're not seeing the whole picture of how all these yogas fit together. A lot of this is the fault of the teachers who narrow their scope down to one particular teaching, one particular deity or religion or tradition, and they don't supply any context that relates what they are teaching to the whole. And since context determines meaning, as we've been over so many times, they miss the larger meaning of the practices they're doing. They tend to get stuck and not to move on when it's time to move on. Then, after the group session and Q&A, after lunch, we'll have individual consultations. Just like in a Zen monastery, every day after the sitting, that all the monks or students, one by one, approach the master, and there's some exchange, some conversation, or sometimes not, maybe just sit in silence and enjoy. And then in the evening, we'll have meditation. And especially during the afternoon, the beach is right there. It's a wonderful location. I've already seen photos and videos of it. And uh, there's plenty of places to eat. Although, I don't know, maybe we'll cook up a big group meal. I'm not sure how we're going to arrange. Those details are part of what we need your input on. Do you want group meals, you know? Are you willing to pay something for it? How much? And, you know, all these little details. And uh, that's going to be managed not by me, but by you and the coordinator, Moritz. And he's going to be in touch with all of you who plan to attend. So, if you want to attend the seminar, send me an email at this address. I will forward it to Moritz and then we'll start organizing and planning. Uh, we don't want to over organize or over plan. We want to leave plenty of space for individual spontaneous interactions. Uh, leave a space for God. <laughs> Because really, God or goddess is the center and the cause and the meaning of this event. So, on Wednesday, we'll get together and discuss. So, you'll notice I'm not dressed in the usual way. <laughs> it's really cold here. It's like uh, 18 centigrade outside and 95% humidity. Inside, it's like 25 centigrade, uh, or Celsius, whatever you call it, and 75% uh, humidity. So it's cold and damp, and uh, I don't do cold and damp very well. <laughs> so I have to bundle up. Um, I'm not planning on going out the next few days because Everything is flooding. There's floods in Chennai. There's floods here. I mean, the road to my house is just a lake. <laughs> so I'll, luckily I have enough food. I can hunker down for a couple of days, you know. And on Wednesday, then we're all going to meet and discuss this event. Or actually, it's going to be a series of events, I guess, starting in early April and going through the month of May. And then in June, July, August, I'm going to be heading north. Maybe I'll go to Germany, Norway, other places where I have friends and invitations, people who've been waiting to see me for a long time. 
So this is all shaping up into a grand adventure. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. So looks like I'll be leaving India by the end of the year and probably uh, wait in Sri Lanka for a while. And then when the weather starts breaking, maybe middle of March, I'll come to Spain, get settled in, and then we'll do the uh, event. Now, you can request any of the topics that we've covered in the more than 1,000 videos on this channel. I'm not sure exactly how many they are because YouTube doesn't give a total anymore. On the, I don't know why on the video page. I can look up in our archives and see, but I know it's more than a thousand for sure. So we have out of that over a hundred different playlists. And each one of them is a rich vein that we can mine for the valuable insights and perceptions. So you think it over. What are your interests? And you make requests either by emailing me or by participating in the conference, the uh, streaming, live streaming event on Wednesday. I don't know what else to say. Let's see. No, I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's really too early to try to make, you know, settled plans. And like I said, we want to leave enough room for spontaneity. So that, for example, in the afternoons, you can go to the beach, you can go for a walk, you can go see some of the beautiful sites nearby. Alicante is a, a beautiful town. And uh, I hope to see you there. I hope to meet you face to face. I hope to be able to help you get a clear idea of this teaching, first of all. And secondly, to find the individual topics that you need to advance your spiritual life up to complete enlightenment. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shakti Aung.